Okay, so metaplasia, it's still reversible, okay, but you've changed cell types and um, usually a response to chronic irritation, inflammation, uh, allows a fragile cell, so maybe the cell's not doing so well and it's, it really wasn't made for all of, this, uh, all of this abuse and all of this stress, and so it changes to a different type of cell. And usually those are epithelial cells, okay? Usually that's what we're talking about when, when metaplasia occurs. And the best example, the one that really makes it understandable, is you've probably heard that um, or you may have heard that smoking gets kills. That's what I've always heard. Kills the cilia in your in your uh, respiratory tract. Well, it doesn't necessarily kill the cilia. I guess that depends on how you want to look at it. But some metaplasia takes place, and those columnar epithelial cells, see with the little cilia that are up here, that are supposed to be um, pushing the mucus back up towards your towards your mouth so you can swallow it, towards your throat, um, those will suddenly, the DNA expression will change and those will turn into a layered squamous epithelial tissue. Okay, so this might be a little tougher. I mean, if, if, uh, if these can be easily, fra or easily damaged, these may be a little tougher and, uh, and can survive. So it's a, it's a nice survival trick. And then when you remove, when you stop smoking uh, or remove yourself from whatever the stressor was, then they can go back to being their original cell type. Now, when you're, again, not to say too much about this, but when you're changing DNA expression and you're going back and forth, back and forth, well, a lot can happen, especially if you're genetically predisposed. Uh, you're changing growth signals, you're changing the cell cycle signals that are, that are taking place, uh, and, and um, some stuff can go wrong. Okay, another example is GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, acid exposure, so if you, if you have um, acid building up, so your lower esophageal sphincter, the acid moves up from your stomach and gets into the esophagus here and can cause damage. Well, that does the opposite changes. It actually changes the squamous epithelial tissue to columnar uh, mucosal epithelium. And then, and then you start um, producing more mucus and you're trying to fix it. You're trying to save that part of your esophagus. Okay, so again, while, can't, while not cancer, metaplasia and dysplasia too are considered uh, precancerous. And you can even say that sometimes hyperplasia may be an indication that something's going on uh, that could uh, ultimately lead to uh, 